What's up, Booski? Today is day five. Your girl just got back from the GYM. I am one cup away from a half a gallon of water, and it's just a good day. Let's just get into it. Be right back. You might as well call me a gym rat girl. I was in the gym. I went to the gym a second time in two consecutive days, girl. Yes, don't ask me to spell consecutive, but I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it, and I felt so good. Um, we had a little bit of a snafu. I was almost gonna make it to 55 minutes, but it stopped at about 44 minutes because, and when I said it, the treadmill stopped at 44 minutes because I accidentally was in stride, and I it's like I'm doing the majorette marching band thing on my hand, and I accidentally hit the cord for my wired, um, headset and it knocked my phone off and it made such a big boom everybody looked around and looked at me like girl what you doing you breaking the machine yes i am but i am so happy y'all i did it i did it i did it and i could have gone more i sweat a little bit more so my game plan is to work out <sighs> my game plan is to do cardio and then possibly because I want to get on a schedule where I'm doing the leg days and the arm days and the thigh days like people like the real gym rats do but I want to research a little bit for the next couple of days to see what workout's going to work for me because like y'all like y'all know I want longevity I'm not trying to get in there and do too much but I'm not trying to do too little to where I'm not really seeing any results so ooh, why is this camera shaking so much because girl I'm a gym rat and I'm working it out but anyway okay so hmm let me get it together. I am going to look up some. I am going to look up some. I almost said recipes. Because all I've been looking up all day is recipes for like low carb, high protein. And for those, I'm sorry, for those who just joined and it's day five. And y'all are like, what's going on? What's she talking about? How is she achieving what she's achieving? I am doing a low calorie high protein diet and I'm eventually probably starting next week because I realized I am not that hungry after I have my first big meal um I might go to OMAD I don't know I don't know but it's a bit of an intermittent fasting so what I do I typically eat between 12 and 4 I don't if something happened the day of and I didn't get it right at 4 I don't eat past 6 o'clock so there's a bit of a fasting window where I'm not eating anything in the morning and I'm not any, any, eating anything at night especially since I'm not working out I don't want that food to sit on me so the calories that I'm normal that I'm trying to target is like 1400 calories or less maybe 12 and if I'm not hungry I'm not gonna force myself to eat it but I'm not trying to starve so there might be some days where after a while if I'm eating and I get full whatever meal I'll just save whatever it is eat it for maybe like a second mini meal and then eat my second meal so that's what I'm doing and I'm also just starting to dip my toe into the gym pool so um what I did today I did not put it on an incline because I noticed um my shoes I need better shoes um I know that's completely random but I think it's really good to have a solid foundation mm, cheesy but my shoes my sneakers that I got I don't like them um, they're tearing up the bottom of my shoes and I'm wearing socks I just asked my dad for one of his big puffy socks that he has that'll cover the back of my ankles but as I'm walking the back of the heel is too stiff so every time I'm walking and it's hitting the back of my like pretend this is the bottom of my foot and no I'm not about to show you my foot it's so ashy but pretend this is the back of my ankle whatever this part is at the top every time I walk the sneaker keeps hitting it so it's not you know it, and that's normal but the sneaker is too tough and it's too rigid at the back it doesn't have a lot of give so it's making it uncomfortable I've worn sneakers in the past I had a fire pair of Nike sneakers I don't know where they are I spilled spaghetti on them I don't know where they are so I bought these sneakers there's some filas I was trying to be nostalgic and get me some filas but um they're cute they're pink and black but they're just not 
they're more still for a look not necessarily good walking or exercise shoes shoes so what I might do next week is invest in some different sneakers because I don't feel like my feet being tore up like this it's one thing for my feet to be sore like oh girl you was working it but they just feel rough and the back of them are a little sore so I'm gonna try to go get me some sneakers um what I ate today um and I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna do a separate video that actually shows how I cooked and prepared my meals I'm still pulling for my meal prep I'm so happy that I invested that time Sunday to be able to do that which reminds me I kind of have to prep some more chicken some more potatoes and some more sweet potatoes I got some work to do tomorrow and I'm, I'm gonna record that but um I ate my mahi mahi burgers with that mango salsa the pineapple mango salsa that me and my mom made she made it literally and y'all see in the video when I show you what I prepared for this week my mom literally made it it's it's like the Lord was like Hey sis, let me show you what to do because she don't know what she's doing. So I diced up mangoes and put the mangoes and the pineapples and I diced them too big to go with the mahi mahi from the recipes that I was seeing online. But I didn't, I diced them way too big. It's almost like the ones that you get in like the fruit cups. So what she did, she added some peach preserves, she put it in a blender and she said, boom, let's let it go. And what happened was it ended up getting into like this kind of puree salsa type. And I had tomatoes in it too. I forgot. I had some tomatoes in it. And it came out into this like puree salsa form. I don't have onions. And I, I don't have onions or cilantro, which would make, make it, I guess, a true salsa because I don't enjoy onions. Um, raw onions, um, uncooked onions. So what we ended up doing, I ended up putting some chili lime um, seasoning on it. And it's fire, y'all. It literally tastes just like salsa. Like the pineapple mango Newman salsa that I used to get with my key lime chips. Oh my gosh. The, it is so good. And what I ended up doing is putting it with my Mahi Mahi burger. And then I put, I got a couple of chips because I felt like crunching a little bit. And I got my sweet potato. But I could barely eat it because I had such a big breakfast. I had ended up having my loaded scrambled eggs with all of my red peppers and my tomatoes and my mushrooms and two slices of turkey bacon. And by the time it was time for me to eat again, as I want to eat again, I'm not trying to starve myself. Like my stomach was like, girl... You know, eat, but don't do too much. And I've been drinking so much water. Like I said, after this cup, I'm going to hit my half a gallon. Girl, like I feel like I've been working out all my life. Like I low-key feel like a bodybuilder, even though I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. No, no knocking to that, but I'm just trying to slim and trim and be healthy. Um, but aside from that, this has just been a really good day. I can't stop saying this. It's just been a real good day. I woke up at 7 o'clock and I checked on um, a couple of people, did a couple of things. And I stayed in bed and I woke up and around like, I actually stayed in my bed. I was thinking about my day and I was like, don't get up just yet. And I got up around like 10 o'clock, which is really late. I normally don't sleep. I can't sleep in. My body automatically wakes me up around 7 o'clock every morning. And I slept in and I woke up and I made my breakfast. I sat down, spent a little time with my mom, just chilled thought about the weekend what I had to do and then I just ended up taking a nap because I ate such a big breakfast but then when I woke up from my nap it was so invigorating um I had so much energy to go up and get up because I actually was dreading it like a little bit low-key I was dreading going to the gym because I'm like my feet hurt so bad it's not even the workout it's my feet my feet are so raw and like un it's like uncomfortable for the walk so in my mind I'm like girl just take a nap you know you'll be okay it's a good day and I woke up and I felt great. So I'm happy I took my nap. I'm really energized. All I'm going to do is edit because I have three videos in the chamber to send y'all. Excuse me, two videos in the chamber to send y'all. One is already created from day three, day four, and day five. I'm trying to get on a schedule to where I am the day of I am up uploading this. But it's kind of hard with, no, no excuses. No excuses because it's an excuseless 2023. If you want to do it, I want to be big. I want to do great stuff. And I want to inspire people. I have to get on a schedule and discipline myself. So let's just say it used to be hard. And moving forward, it's not going to be hard anymore. I'm going to find the time and make it to where it's a regimented thing for people who are really dialed in and really cheering me on. I want you guys to get used to a specific schedule. A, a, a specific schedule. So that's what I'm going to do. But other than that, I'm also, after I take my shower, I'm going to find a pair of leggings. I got these Amazon leggings. I'm going to use an outfit that, the same outfit every time I spin and turn around. So we can compare it from week to week so that you guys can get used to seeing me in a specific outfit. And seeing the progress as I go. Not just you guys, me. Because it's motivating. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I went to the bathroom because I drank so much water. I almost peed up on the treadmill. I went to the bathroom 
And um, after my phone fell and everybody was looking at me like I, like I was shooting, I went in the bathroom and I came back out. And I don't know if you know, in certain gyms, there's that mirror in the bathroom. I looked at myself. It's so funny. There's different mirrors. The mirror in my house makes me think like, oh, you're not, it's not that bad. But girl, when you go in that mirror in the gym and you see that side view and see all them cakes, pies, cellulites, and thighs, girl, it is a sobering moment. It makes you think, okay, girl, you really need to stay in here. You That mirror in the bathroom is fooling you. That bathroom mirror make you look mm, 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 snatched. But when you get in real life and you see stuff wiggling and jiggling, nah, 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 calm down, calm down. You need to stay at this gym. Get in the gym and stay in because it's not what you think you can toss your hair all day long but i saw my side profile and it was like oh, oh my god but it's all good it is all good i have no complaints because i'm starting it and i'm gonna finish it yeah yeah i got nothing else to say but anyway i'm really gonna end the video i'm not gonna do y'all like i do with the baptist ministers i'll be all right just one more thing we gonna end the sermon oh we got another thing oh we gonna end the sermon no i'm gonna end it right now but I hope you guys have a great day. Next time you see me, I'm going to be spinning. I got to find them leggings. I got to find that shirt. I got to wash. But anyway, bye, y'all. I just got out of the shower. Just so y'all can see, it's day five still. It is Saturday, March the 11th at 8.16. Mm -mm, got to change the picture. Um, and this is what I look like. Man, let me back up some more. This is what my body looks like. Let's do a front. Me not sucking in. Heavy gut. And then this is the other side. This is the back. No. What we're trying to do is push this up. Give it some definition. It's day five. I'm down 13 pounds. I don't think I said that earlier. 13 pounds. 13 pounds. I don't even know. I don't even feel like I'm trying that hard, y'all. I'm not even lying. Like, I'm trying hard in the gym, but, like, the food and all this other stuff, I feel like I'm not trying that hard. But neither here nor there. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. I'm going to throw out three videos, two videos, I think, three, however many that are in the chamber, and then get ready for tomorrow. But I hope you all have a great night. Mwah. Love you all. Bye.